Foolish Burial Goods is a spell card with a very simple effect, but why it's good is a little bit more complicated. When you play Foolish Burial Goods, you can send any spell or trap card directly from your deck to your graveyard. Why would you want to do that? Well, there are a lot of spell and trap cards out there that have useful effects when you play them from the graveyard. You might be thinking of cards like Skill Prisoner or Galaxy Cycle and Breakthrough Skill, cards that you play once for their main effect and then get another similar but a little weaker effect from the graveyard on your next turn. Those are not what you want to send to the graveyard with Foolish Burial Goods. What you're looking for are cards that have effects that you can use right away and that are frequently better than the effects you get for playing them. Here's a couple examples. If you're a fan of Spiral or Subterrors, you might be familiar with Spiral Mission Assault and Subterror Behemoth Burrowing. Both of these cards are pretty good when you play them normally, but once they're in the graveyard, they get an incredibly useful ability towards setting up your strategy. The problem is, these are both, well, this is a continuous card and this is a trap, so you can't really get it into your graveyard when it'd be most useful to you at the start of the duel. Unless you use Foolish Burial Goods. With that, you can send either of, the, either of these cards directly from your deck to the graveyard. If you send Behemoth Burrowing, you can banish it from your graveyard to flip one of your Subterra monsters face down. That's something that Subterra decks struggle with a lot in the early game. So you can summon one of your nemeses, like Archer or Warrior, play Foolish Burial Goods to send Burrowing to the graveyard, and then flip it face down so that you can special summon Subterra Behemoth from your hand. Then there's Spiral Mission Assault. One of the challenges for Spirals is getting enough special summons in the early game. For example, you want to be able to both, say, summon Spiral Gear Drone from your hand, and summon Super Agent, and summon Spy Gal Misty all in the same turn. And normally, you would not be able to do that. But if you have Foolish Burial Goods, you can send Spiral Mission Assault to the graveyard, or you can banish it to special summon one of the Spirals from your hand. It's also useful in another fan-favorite strategy that's going to get a lot more fans really soon, and that is Fluffles. Toy Benders, it's alright when you play it as a regular continuous spell, but when it goes to the graveyard, you get to search your deck for any Fluffle monster or Edge, Imp edge Imp Sabers and add it straight to your hand. Being able to skip the middleman of finding a discard outlet or anything like that is a huge boon for Fluffle players. Fans of Yugi's cards probably also going to be fans of Foolish Burial Goods. Magician Navigation is a card that's great whether you play it normally or just send it straight to the graveyard. When you activate it, summons Dark Magician from your hand and a Dark Spellcaster, level 7 or lower, from your deck. When it's in the graveyard, except the turn it was sent there, you can banish it to negate a spell or trap card your opponent plays. Sending it to the graveyard on your own turn might seem a little counterintuitive since you can't use it right away, but what you really want it for is to negate your opponent's spell and trap cards during their own turn. So not being able to use it on your own turn is not really that big a deal. It's also good if you're a fan of Silent Magician and Silent Swordsman. Little Yugi's cards. These guys were from uh, Rivals of the Pharaoh. But they also came with their own attack spells, Silent Burning and Silent Sword Slash. And each of these attack spells also doubles as a search card. But the problem is you weren't able to actually play them without already having a monster on the field to target with them. Foolish Burial Goods lets you skip that, send them straight to the graveyard where you can banish them to search out Silent Swordsman or Silent Magician. I had a uh, Phantom Knight deck a while back that used Silent Swordsman and Foolish Burial Goods. It was pretty darn good. And speaking of Phantom Knights, Foolish Burial Goods is great with Phantom Knights. Their whole thing is that they have all these cards that you can play from the graveyard for more good effects. You know, Phantom Knight Sword, Fog Blade, Wing, I probably would not send Fogblade to the graveyard unless I absolutely had to, because that's definitely a card you want to get both uses out of. But uh, something like Wing or Sword to make sure that you can get an instant special summon without having to wait a turn to use the traps is extremely useful. Speaking of traps, I don't know that this will actually happen in practice, but you can also send something like a Paleozoic card to the graveyard so that you can activate a trap and immediately special summon it back out. It's a neat little application that could lead to a lot more Paleozoic Xyz monsters and toads down the line. So there are really a ton of different options that you have for Foolish Burial Goods. I, I didn't even go through all of them. There are just so many of them. So uh, if you have a spell or trap that you 
like playing, but you wouldn't mind seeing it go straight to the graveyard so that you can use it later, this could be the card you're looking for. I'll talk to you next time.